What are they? We're standing in someone's graveyard, I reckon. Viking? Well, maybe older. In fact, the discovery of a 7th century Anglo-Saxon burial site, the remains of a funeral ship and a huge cache of royal treasure would be hailed as one of the greatest archaeological finds of all time. I think you'd better come and see. Now the story of the two people who were instrumental in the find is being told in a new film. Even though the Second World War is looming, the Suffolk landowner Edith Pretty enlisted a local self-taught archaeologist, Basil Brown, to explore what might be beneath mounds of earth in the grounds of her home. Well, I'm sitting here in Edith Pretty's house. How are you? How are you? Oh, wow. Yeah, cool. Had she not asked for the mound to be excavated on her land, we might never have known what was underneath it. Well, yeah, in fact, I think even the, the grounds um, became a sort of army training site. And so actually all of those mounds were trampled by tanks and, um, and would never have been found if it wasn't for her instinct and for Basil's instinct to, to uncover them. I may not be a fellow at Cambridge, but I worked out what was down there. In 1939, archaeologists from Cambridge University arrived to take charge, but it's hoped the film will highlight Basil Brown's role. And then there is, of course, the background of class and academic class, and it's all it's exposing that, I suppose. This extraordinary thing comes out of the earth, which is so contains so much about our past and who we are, just as we're going into conflict and into crisis. Uh, I think that's somehow very resonant, particularly maybe now at this time. Where this darker grass is, is where the um, burial chamber was. Decades on, Earth once more covers the site. But this archaeologist hopes the film will remind us of the achievements of some underrated ancestors. And everybody knows about Vikings and Romans, but if you ask the average person about the Anglo-Saxons, they often say, oh, well, they lived in holes in the ground, you know, and with their pigs. They only have to see the things from Sutton Hoo to understand that that's not right. Lockdown last year appears to have brought out the amateur archaeologist in many of us. The British Museum reporting a surge in finds, many of them in people's back gardens. Though, of course, we'd be hard-pressed to match what Basil found. Nina Nanar, News at 10, at Sutton Hoo in Suffolk.